Hello, this is Tom. Today, let's take a look at uh, these pins. This is uh, uh, a roaching uh, at pin. So, uh, it looks uh, like this. This is the nib. This is a nib. Okay, it's a cartridge and uh, convert pin. So this is the uh, cartridge international oil short cartridge. This uh, another one inside the, uh, this barrel that dropped. Okay, so this one uh, is is new. So it's uh, inside uh, this barrel. So. So this is roaching at pain. And uh, this is uh, a Lamis pen. It's uh, similar to this roaching uh, at pain, the same shape. It looks very similar. And uh, Lamy called it uh, uh, Joy, Lamy uh, Joy. And uh, it's a calligraphy fountain pen. Uh, so, we have seen these two pins before. This is a, a Schaefer a flat flat top vintage fountain pen, and this is Lamy two thousand. We can see these two pins are much longer <laughs> than these two, uh, so they have a <laughs> their own styles. And this is a new uh, roaching art pen. So this is uh, actually quite old, I think. So this is the original package. Uh, so yeah, today we would like to look at uh, these other pins and uh, this Lamy's uh, Joy. So this is the uh, original box. Let, let, let me take out the pin inside. The, 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 the. This is actually a box, a metal box. This is uh, a metal. Uh, metal box it says roaching here what's inside let's see okay then let me first put this pen two pens away so this is uh, what's inside we can see this uh, this the, 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 this uh, is this uh, manual I think roaching at the pen uh, it says like patterns of speech handwriting is a uh, expression of personality okay uh, yes i agree writing is a uh, expression of personality um, but uh, uh, how do we understand this expression of personality i think some <laughs> uh, many nice person many nice people Maybe their handwritings are not good. And maybe for some, I don't know, maybe for some evil people, their handwritings can be very good. So uh, <laughs> it's hard to say. But uh, usually in terms of probability, I think, a people with uh, good handwriting is more likely to be a good person, I think. Mm, but maybe that's also not true. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh -huh. Interesting. So this is uh, the the pen. This is actually new. We can see here uh, EF. This means the nib is EF, and uh, this pen, this used pen, the nib is M. So it's good because we can uh, if we put the pen in this way, and uh, then we can find the. Uh, uh, the pen with the nib we would like to use. Okay. So inside is the same. So this is um, EF. It says EF and the roaching. And inside, uh, this is there's nothing. There's no converter. Uh, okay. So this is red. Uh, okay. So so the, the, this is red. Uh, uh, Red band can, can can be moved. Okay, how to put it back? This should be okay. It's just a round one, so we just put it back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see what's wrong. Okay.
Okay. <clears throat> we have to make sure that the, the thread threads uh, goes well. Be just because just now I think uh, uh, now it's fine. Just now uh, that the thread did not uh, go well actually, but now it's fine I think. Okay, so it comes with five, five cartridges, short cartridges, and then nothing else. Uh, red, black, black and red, nice color. And uh, this clip, I think, it's very, yeah, it's it's tight, and I think it's made of uh, very very thin. Metal. It should be a metal, right? It cannot be a plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the new pen. This is a new art pen, Rochim art pen. Uh, okay, it has uh, comes with a nice uh, metal box, like a Kaweco. They <laughs> they have this uh, style. Yeah, nice one. I think for a student, it's nice to have a uh, <coughs> this box. When I was a child, I I think I have uh, this kind of uh, pencil or pen box. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bigger than this one. But uh, this is a nice one. Okay, today let's uh, just uh, take a look at uh, these two pens. Let's have some writing samples. Let's first go with this Rochin art pen. <laughs> Art. Let's do some artwork. So this is a uh, rotting. Art pen. It's a uh, very smooth and. Uh, and actually, it's very broad, uh, and it's very wet. So, so, yeah, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. And uh, so, this M, black ink. Okay, let's write something with this, uh, with this pen. Uh, someone said, a writer, I think uh, it's called uh, Graham Green. It's an English writer. Uh, he said, uh, he, he was born, okay. He, he said, uh, my, my two fingers on a typewriter. have never connected with my brain. <laughs> so he used a, type, a typewriter. Um, Okay. Then he said, uh, "My hand, my hand on a pen does." A phantom pen, of course. <laughs> Ballpoint pens are only good for filling out forms on a plane.
Okay, so he likes uh, fountain pens better than ballpoint pens, obviously. And uh, his name is okay. Graham. Okay, so this is H A M. Graham Green. English writer from one nine oh four to one nine nine one. Okay, maybe at that time, uh, ballpoint pens are not uh, very good. I, I, I am not sure. I think uh, Cross, um, Cross made uh, very good uh, ballpoint pens. They are very good ones, actually. They are also, uh, I think, BIC. I, didn't, I haven't used BIC a lot, but I think, I believe BIC also made uh, very good uh, ballpoint pens. Uh, so, uh, As I have said in my previous uh, video, uh, I think, uh, yeah, fountain pens are very good. Maybe they are very good for writers, for writers. But ballpoint pens, ballpoint pens and rollerball pens, they are also very good, actually. They are also very good. Uh, if they can try these very good uh, ballpoint pens, maybe they will change their opinion. Uh, but I also agree uh, for, for if you write a novel or fiction, um, maybe fountain pen is uh, might be better. Yeah, in that uh, uh, the feeling might be a little better. Yeah. Okay. Um, and he also said. Uh, if he use typewriter, a typewriter, the typewriter and uh, does not connect with uh, his brain. Um, it's possible this, but the main reason might be just uh, he he didn't uh, he he's very he he's not a uh, uh, he's not used to typewriter. Uh, I think some <laughs> today some uh, coders programmers they use keyboards and I think uh, the keyboards uh, are connected to their brains. Uh, even for some writers, I think even for some today's writers. Okay. And uh, next now let's take a look at uh, the next pen. It's called um, Lamy Joy. So uh, it's a calligraphy pen. It's a calligraphy pen. So we can see the nib is, uh, uh, is special. It's it's flat, and uh, it, it says one point five. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not sure if you can see it. One point five millimeter. So so the width of the nib is one point five millimeter. <laughs> They also call this Italian uh, style nib, okay. And this is one point five uh, millimeter nib, and uh, the the ink is Lamis blue. Yeah, with this kind of nib, we can. Uh, get uh, some um, line vari variation automatically. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at another quote. I don't want anything to do with anything. <laughs> Okay, interesting, but uh, there's uh, something follow this anything. It's called a uh, mechanical.
between me and the paper. Including a typewriter. And I don't even want a phantom pen. <laughs> between me and the paper. And uh, who said that this shall be footy it's an American writer, American writer, and uh, it's he's from one nine one six to two thousand five. Okay, uh, so he prefer a fine pen. Let me use uh, another another pen. So. So he prefer a fountain pen than a typewriter, of course. Uh, yeah, so that, that's a true feeling, I think. But uh, I also uh, think highly about this one. I don't even want a fountain pen between me and the, 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 the paper. Uh, so how do we write? How do we write? Maybe we can use software and uh, just uh, we we talk and the software can re record uh, what we talk. And maybe in the future, uh, a computer software can record uh, what we think. Then at that time, writing is a totally different thing, right? Okay. Uh, but I think uh, he shall be footy uh, would would like to try those uh, those ways of writing. Yeah, that that would be interesting. Maybe we can see those those inventions actually. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is about today's uh, today's video. So it's mainly about these two pens, uh, art pens, joy pens, calligraphy pens. Thank you for watching.